Hi, and welcome to my channel. This is KB, we're saving 101, and I am KB, Kim Baker. If this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome. I am this crazy lifetime thrifter turned reseller, and I currently resell on Poshmark, Macari, and Tradesy. Um, today happens to be Thrift Haul Thursday. It is my favorite day of the week. This is where I go into my local Goodwills and find unique items no longer available for stores to flip for profit. So if you are interested in reseller tips, tricks, haul videos, then do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button down below because hoping it will help me out. <laughs> And if you're joining me, thank you. I know I'm a little bit behind. In fact, guys, this haul happens to be from two weeks ago. That's not normally how I do things, but I'm a hotter mess than usual. So let's dive in and see what I got. I'll tell you, it's mostly, um, I got some vintage bread and butter and um, I didn't find like a men's items, but nothing like over the top spectacular, but it's all gonna bring me money. All right, so Chico's. Guys, this happens to be one of my number one selling brands. I don't know, I know a lot of people don't pick it up, but I got news for you. I list it and I'll sell it. Um, the blazers, what, I usually get about 30, um, so I make 24 on them. Uh, the pants and stuff, maybe um, I end up getting uh, 20, my profit, not um, sold. But anyway, um, this one just happens to be a cotton um, lined um, little like zebra print size two. If you don't know, Chico's has vanity sizing. In my title, I always put the Chico's size because if somebody is a Chico's um, shopper, that's how they like to shop. And then in my actual sizing, I put what it correlates to. So hopefully I get both of the markets. Um, anyway, there you go. Next. Um, I am telling you, I do have a lot of coats, um, totally out of season, but for me, I find that if I shop out of season, I get some better items because people aren't looking for them at this time. So, um, you know, all those teddy bear sweatshirts and hoodies and all of the faux fur and stuff, it's still going to be very big for fall. So this is an H&M logo and it is what size? Uh, looks like, wait, you have Europe, you have UK, and where the heck is US? I don't know. I'll have to look because I don't see a US. That's odd. Anyway, um, I'm going to say it's probably maybe, might be a, a medium or a small, um, but it is just a cream hooded um, teddy bear fleece. And yay. All right. Now, of course, I love watching the fashion shows, guys. Um, anything very um, equestrian seemed very in on quite a few of the designers. So even though I keep saying I'm not going to pick up this darn brand, um, it was only a dollar. It's Tahari Arthur S. Levine, size 16. <clears throat> I don't believe we're made of anything spectacular. No polyester. But... I apologize, it's not a hanger, but I could have buttoned it down for you. But it looks very equestrian-like with this belted waist um, and uh, the pockets and stuff. And in this, like, mini houndstooth um, plaid kind of, <clears throat> and the colors are great for fall. Um, I also like the buttons. So, yes, this being a size 16, it is a good size. Um, and like I said, equestrian, uh, very, very in. If you find anything, pick it up. Um, Cause fall, that's what I saw. All right, <clears throat> let's see. This is a Jonathan Stone. Never picked him up before. It's a ladies size large, fourteen, sixteen, um, and it is just this plaid lined, zip down, um, puffer vest. So uh, yes. And so this might actually help me catch up because I'm not going to be listing all these right away due to the fact that, yes, we are in a different season. Um, but I don't mind listing it if I have time. Uh, what I do like to do is focus on what is probably more in season and get it listed as quickly as possible because, yes, I'm always behind. 
Um, this happens to be a Sport Haley, size large. It is so stinking soft, you guys. I can't even begin to tell you. And again, it is a sleeveless uh, leopard print. Is it leopard? Is it cheetah? I don't know. What's the difference? I don't care. I'll put animals. I'll put them all. Um, anyway, it has pockets. It's like a tunic length. Um, it is really, oh, it is so to die for soft. Um, it is a little big. Otherwise, if it was a little smaller, it might have been mine. So, but I'm sure you're going to find this listed in my Poshmark closet. And I don't know. I have another Haley Sport, and it hasn't seemed to do done um, anything yet. But again, it's a vest. Uh, maybe it'll do better closer to fall. So, um, anyway, I don't know. I might list that 36, if not 29. Um, who are you? I didn't even tell you. I don't know. Who is it? Um, Susan Graber, 1X. Um, I've done okay with her, so yes. And who does not love a nice, sheer, large size, um, open, carnigan, um, almost in a duster length, uh, animal print. So um, I do believe this should do very well. And I'll list it for at least 29. Okay. And I didn't put these in any order, guys. You notice I don't have a rack. I've had out-of-town guests. Um, I've had a graduation. I have out-of-town guests coming, and I have an out-of-town wedding of my daughters to go to. So um, it's been a little crazy. Uh, let's see. This is just Sugar Lips. It is not made of anything spectacular, but it is this adorable um, wrap, um, tweed, multicolored mini skirt. And I think that is just so going to be in for fall. It is a size large. And um, yes, I will list that under the, I mean, my keywords, and they're going to be like, you know, academia, um, schoolgirl, parochial, all that good stuff. So, all right. If you've watched me before, everybody say it. Are you ready? I got it for the print of it. <laughs> Is this not the most adorable little thing? I think it's just so cute. It has such an Asian um, oriental kind of feel and flair with some military going on um, in this metallic jacquard floral print. Um, so yes, it is not a brand I would normally pick up. It is Charlotte Russe, but it's a size medium and I do believe it'll sell just because of the print and style. So very moto um, with those buttons or with buttons, zippers. Guys, I'm really tired, just so you know too. Um, so if I get a little loopy, come back and see me again when I'm not so crazy. Uh, <laughs> okay, this happens to be Chico So Slimming size one crop pants. Um, yes, Chico's happens to be one of my number one sellers, so I will definitely pick them up. They usually sell very quick for me. Okay. All right. Now, this probably would be my number one selling brand, but I don't find a lot of it. So this is Cache. It wasn't my number one seller, and I kid you not, as you list more items and more items sell in the same category or whatever, your things will change. But Cache does very well for me. I usually get some good money for it, and it is vintage, and it is this metallic gold. Isn't that cute? Little, and of course, now it is a pencil skirt, but am I going to label it like a pencil skirt? No, it comes above the knee, so I am going to label it as a, a mini because mini is more in than a pencil. So um, in the description, I will make sure I do put pencil, but mini is going to be in my title. Um, of course, the word vintage. And uh, yeah, that's absolutely adorable. I'm at least going to list it for 39 if not higher. Um, and that I am focusing on trying to pick up more vintage because when you cannot find an item anywhere, guess what? you have control of the market. If they want it, they have to get it from you. All right, now, this happens to be the limited, and this is a men's, and it is a vintage. Um, what size are you? It says medium. So that's how I just decided it's a men's. This is a stinking adorable jacket, guys. Look at this. Okay, so it has like, I don't know, it's like a double, let me pull you down and show you this. It is just, it is really super cool. Look, it got the um, army green going on, zip up, 
and it's almost like it's a layered look and it's like this is like a felt i have to look maybe that's made of wool um it is a hooded so it's part of the hood okay but it's a nice big in this rust um royal purple and army green so i am really super stoked about this i'm expecting this to do very well so um yeah woohoo woohoo all right onward okay this i have no idea i have to do more googling sorry guys uh this is uh who are you who are you lisa renee and um it's a size 18w um if you haven't watched my channel before my um stores i usually cannot get very good reception in um so you know google doesn't come up um poshmark app doesn't come up but i have found my thread up app does um and until i guess i don't know it's it's i still utilize it to check to see what it's crossed off price which is the crossed off price is what they usually considered as its original so um, i like to get an idea on values of items <clears throat> excuse me this happens to be a two piece um, so i got two, both pieces for a dollar i will list them separately one's a blazer the other's a skirt um, and i will in them tag each other saying i do have um, the skirt that goes with it or i have the jacket that goes with it um, very to me like um i don't know uh, shall i say elvis style i mean even have like almost an like an asymmetrical with this collar um but it has all of this rhinestone here and on the waist and on the sleeves um 18w and then i have the skirt and the skirt's really kind of unique and cute too um like i said i have to do more googling i know nothing about this brand but um so it has like this shark bite but it is a like a faux wrap because on the, and it's on both sides so like it's got that flap up in the front and a flap up on the back and yeah fully lined so with them saying that it was like 210 in value per piece um for a dollar uh 50 cents each actually i will give that a shot and i think it's unique enough that now a lot of people are crazy enough to buy it like me <laughs> all right this happens to be a cool light it is a woman size medium it is a very nice lightweight puffer um, vest so it's in excellent condition and yes I will give that a shot all right and I am trying to cut down the amount of items I'm bringing home guys because yeah I am behind on listing I have plenty I really shouldn't go shopping so um, I'm unless I know like it's Chico's or Ann Taylor and that's gonna fly out the door or the print of it or it's vintage I'm kind of um yeah <laughs> not in need of anything but when it's a dollar how can you resist um and not to mention i don't want to miss out on the exciting items that could be there if i don't go um this one i just absolutely i absolutely do love <laughs> brown is one of my favorite colors uh i don't know this actually does fit me very nicely i hadn't tried it on yet so hopefully it'll get listed um but yeah it's like i don't know is it um is that like a it's like i know it's faux but is it like a lambs textured um you know it's got the shine to it it's this rich gold, golden brown um jacket um covers nice little hips and has pockets god it is adorable it is warm um so let's see i don't think it's made of anything spectacular but i didn't even tell you who it is it is a valerie stevens and yeah nothing particular size medium it is gorgeous and um i am at least going to i might actually list this at like 50 if um depending on what i find out um otherwise 39 will probably be the very least that i would list it for um but i'm thinking i'm gonna list it for 50 at least uh we'll see it could go even higher <laughs> all right yeah guys um my favorite thing right now is closet clear out um, I have a new app and it is um, Seller Insight and it's only available on iPhones right now, but I utilize my Seller Insight every closet clear out. I go down to the items that it says needs to be relisted that have been listed longer than 60 days. Those are the items that if they have likes, I mark down. I mark all of those down 
Now, I really don't like iPhones, just to tell you the truth. Um, and I only have the iPhone for that app. Uh, so anyway, then um, I mark it down. Now, if somebody also like or not likes an item, if somebody likes an item, I won't mark it down um, because I'm already marking all my items that are older down. If somebody sends me an offer, I will counter by not countering by dropping the price so that they get discounted shipping. And when I do that, it's usually because I don't like their offer and I'd like more for it. But if I counter, they might not accept my offer. So if you closet clear out, drop your price, they get that additional dollars off and you could still always go back and accept the offer if they don't take yours. So I'm loving it. And then the next day I relist um, and I do that on my my Android, because I find listing is so much easier and because I don't even think the iPhone has a filter on Poshmark where you can filter by recently price dropped. So on my Android, it does. And so then I go through and I relist all of those items the very next day. If somebody likes an item that already dropped down, I even leave them a note. I put it in a bundle and I let them know this item has been dropped for a closet clear out. It will be relisted soon. Please take advantage of this price. And I kid you not. Yes. So those are like my favorite days of the week where they, I, they used to be my most dreaded. So, all right, moving on. Sorry, I got chatty. This is not a brand I normally would pick up, but it's really super cute and going to be in trend. Um, and it's uh, extra small. It is a Candies. Again, super soft with this textured um, faux fur. And this one, I'll definitely list and put the words formal. It has like this little beaded bow on its collar. So yes, super cute and in trend. Not like normally something I would pick up, but yes. And I'll probably list it for at least 29. All right. Keep moving along. I know it's summer. Isn't it boring? I got all these coats. Um, <laughs> Kenneth Cole reaction size medium in like this gray, I don't know, um, military uh, tunic pea coat, and it looks like it'd be like a wool, but it's not. It's almost like a sweatshirt kind of material feel. Um, it's really super nice. So, yep, for a buck, yes, and it has its belt. Okay, now this one happens to be an LL Bean extra extra tall which um, I find those sizes have done very well for me. Um, you do have to, like, especially Poshmark, I don't even think Macari or anybody else has it either, um, has a tall section. So um, in your actual title, you need to write that it's an extra, extra large tall um, because people will look for that and they don't have a filter for it um, and they do very well. So um, this is a really nice, lightweight, like I said, L.L. Bean, extra, extra, extra large. Um, and uh, it's just, it's super, super nice. So I think that's going to do very, very well. I have not listed any L.L. Beans. I know that they're a decent brand. So I'll have to do some Googling. Can't give you a price point. All right. Onward. Okay, I did get some vintage. All right, this is really super cute. It is a Leslie Fay. It's just 100% polyester. It's actually Leslie Fay Evenings, size 8. And let's see if I can do anything with it to make it look. I apologize I don't have the hangers, guys. It's Like I said, it's just been, it's been a hell of a week. Um, okay. Now, it is missing some of its, okay, it's not going to stay. Okay, maybe I should put it on. Okay, I'll try putting it on. <laughs> how, I, how can I best visually show this to you? Um, so, yeah, I mean, look at the, oh, this is just stinking adorable. And you can totally tell it's vintage because, yes, it says that it's a much larger size. But, oh, my gosh, look at the cut on this. Love the lapel. Um, it is missing, like, its little blings that used to be on each side but somebody could add their own, but yeah, actually I'm gonna say this is a small, uh, which is really funny because of course I can tell you what it says as far as its size, but um, whew, look at that. It is, it is, and it's nice formal, um, mother of the bride, but vintage all the way. Did I say an eight? What size did I say? Eight. Well, now it probably is about an eight, maybe. 
kind of a little heavy. Um, <laughs> um, so yes, but um, I got that because it's vintage and I think it's absolutely adorable. That one I'll probably will have to model, which I hate doing, but in order to get the best pictures or photos for it, um, I will have to do that. All right, um, this one I got, I believe it's a vintage handmade piece. Um, it is very unique. That's another reason why I picked it up. I love the colors on it. And it is a nice large size. It's like this watercolor. Can you see all the watercolors? And it is a maxi to the floor. Um, and it has this, I don't know, raw edge threading um, in stripes. Uh, raw edge vertical stripes. Um, and this beaded waist. So, um, yes, it is a single stitch. Um, I'm going to have to do some more research. But it's definitely not... Um, I think it's just unique enough that it'll sell because nobody else will have one. All right. Now, let's see. I'll get rid of these shoes. I did find a pair of shoes for a dollar. Who are you? Uh, BOC, which is a decent brand. So these are a nice little leather, like ballet slipper, not toed um, slide on. So um, these are more of like a comfort shoe. And um, I know that my Clarks and stuff do very well. So um, for a buck, I'll pick them up. All right. Another vintage piece. This happens to be a Cabela's, which um, I wouldn't pick up normally. <laughs> I have picked up in the past, but I um, honestly, I probably wouldn't pick it up um, to resell, except that this happens to be a, a leather, well, it's a suede, um, and it has um, cutouts. Do you see the cutouts with some studs? It's this pink collarless zip up um, and even has the detailing on the sleeves um, down the front in the zipper, has pockets. Um, it's a really pretty pink, dusty pink. Um, the shoulders have a little bit of, um, a, probably from like the, uh, like it has a little bit of a yellowing from uh, probably just like sitting on the hanger. So um, I'm going to go through and see if I can use a little, I don't know, a suede eraser um, or just a little um, toothbrush to try to fluff and get the dust off. Um, but uh, being vintage, it's an extra large. It is really super cool. So um, back detailing too. Yeah, can't wait to get that listed. I think that's marvelous. All right, I got some more leather. I know nothing about this brand, never heard of it. Um, but I can't ever pass up leather for a dollar. I, I can't even read, they marked out something, whatever. Um, it says that, I don't know, um, is that P.B. Martin? I don't know. That piece backwards? I'm going to have to do some Googling. I'll probably use Google Lens um, on the um, tag itself to see if I can come up with something that way. Um, if you guys don't, Google Lens is like your best friend um, because you can take a photo of something and it'll give you maybe its description, where it's sold, um, stock photos, the whole nine yards. So um, I do absolutely love Google Lens. So I will do that. But it is, of course, um, this happens to be 100% leather. It is a zip up belted um, collared jacket. Um, very nice. Great condition. So yes, I just have to Google and find out more about. I have no idea. But like I said, when you buy it for a dollar, I don't think that I can lose. <laughs> I think I'm going to always win. All right. Um, this one is definitely vintage. Um, and it is a Michael Hoban North Beach size 910. And it has the USA. Um, and I think, no, it doesn't have, I thought it did. Oh, no, here it is. Nope, that's a stamp. I got a stamp with it. Um, hold on. I swore that there was more of the union tag. It might be the next, might be my next haul and my next piece that I have to film right after this. But um, made in the USA, this is a 910. Um, and yes, it's definitely a vintage, 100% uh, leather. It has shoulder pads in it. Um, and what size did I say? I said 910, multiple times, sorry. All right, ready? And this is, ooh, my last piece. So, um, 
But yeah, this one's really cool. Shoulder pads, large open lapel. I'm like, this thing goes down to my knees. Um, I might actually use this as my mark. As a keyword, I might have, well, down on the bottom, I'd be like, stripper coat, um, in case you wanted to wear something sexy on me, go over to your honey's house. Okay, am I allowed to say any of that on YouTube? Hopefully I don't get flagged. All right. <laughs> but yes, um, vintage, great, good. Um, I uh, have been doing awesome on Poshmark. Um, I know that I've always talked about going to eBay. eBay just seems to be like such a headache to me. Um, I'm actually considering, because I'm getting so much more vintage, um, I had a list on Cross or uh, Shop Thrilling. I don't even think they've activated my store yet. And I get more emails for them to shop than I do anything else. So I'm kind of irritated with them. <laughs> and I'm thinking I might try Etsy. Um, I like to only try one, one, uh, one new platform at a time so that I can get accustomed to it. I can get used to, used to it. Um, in fact, um, you know, I have kept saying that I sell on Tradesy. And um, I'm like, on, on my third sale, I had two this week, which is great. Um, it, it, like I said, this, it's just been flying. Um, my sales on Poshmark have been so good. I just wonder if I can, if I stay focused on Poshmark, if I can then continually increase those sales and not ever have to go to eBay. Anyway, those are my thoughts. That's my haul. I hope you come back and join me. I hope you had some fun. And until next time, guys.